how to download google slides on laptop hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll simply guide you through the steps on how you can download google slides on laptop so make sure to watch the video till the very end if you'd like to download google slides on laptop it's actually very very simple to do so because all you have to do is go ahead and first of all go to google.com slash slides i'll also make sure to drop the link if you're talking about downloading the google slides app the google slide does not have an official app available for your laptop you can only use the web version or you can also make sure to install a shortcut such as these in order to go ahead and basically add this as an installation to your home screen right so you can just click the three dots you can just go to this book Bookmark option you can choose to add this as a bookmark or you can choose to install this as a web shortcut now other is if you want to go ahead and then just actually download the slides that you've made all of the presentations and so on so for this you can just go to slides here once you go to slides over here you'll be able to see the slides that you've created and let's say that this is a slide that you want to download right it's actually quite simple to download it all you have to do is just click on this three dots option here and then you can say start from beginning and so on or you can click the share option and right over here you will be able to share anyone with the link once you share anyone with the link you can just click the done button and then you should be able to download this accordingly or you can just click on file and then over here you can just go to this option called download you can choose to download this as a microsoft powerpoint an odp document a pdf plain text jpz image png image or whatever else you prefer over here that's all it takes to download google slides on laptop hope this video was very helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video